Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my must-haves in my kitchen, so in my pantry, my fridge, and my freezer. I feel like a video like this would have been super helpful for me when I was learning how to cook. This is a list that I've compiled of things that I've learned over the years that I need to keep in my kitchen at all times. Let's get started. I'm gonna get started today in the pantry. I've got a list of 10 things, even though there's more than 10 things. You'll see what I'm talking about. First and foremost, I always keep stocks or broth on hand. I always have a lot of chicken stock. I also keep beef broth. If you like vegetable stock, those are just nice to have because almost all recipes call for those. The second thing on my list are tomatoes, canned tomatoes, and in all different forms. I always have tomato sauce, tomato paste, diced tomatoes, diced tomatoes with green chilies. I feel like this list can go on and on but they're just nice to have not only for specific recipes, but if you're just kind of in a rut and, or in a hurry and you're trying to throw a dinner together, it's always nice to have all of those on hand. Number three, I always keep canned beans on hand as well. So pinto beans, kidney beans, cannellini beans, black beans, refried beans, all of those are really helpful to have on hand and great to add to a lot of different recipes. Number four are cream of something soups. <laughs> I always have cream of mushroom and cream of chicken soup on hand. I know there's a lot of other variations of cream of something soups. Not only do a lot of recipes call for those, but they're really nice just to have on hand if you are wanting to thicken up a soup or to kind of make your own type of casserole. I really love having those. Number five is rice and pasta. I almost always have a five pound bag of rice on hand and then we have lots of different pastas that I keep on hand as well. Elbow macaroni, angel hair pasta, you name it. Whatever your favorite pastas are, those are always nice to have just for a side dish option or, you know, a lot of recipes call for those things too. Number six are gonna be your oils. So I always keep extra virgin olive oil, vegetable oil, and sesame oil on hand. If you like to do a lot of Asian inspired dishes, sesame oil is a really nice one to keep on hand as well. Going along with that would be your vinegars. I always keep four different types of vinegars on hand. I always have white vinegar, red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and rice vinegar on hand. Number eight would be your sauces. So obviously pretty much everybody has ketchup, mustard, and mayo, but I also always keep Dijon mustard on hand, Worcestershire sauce, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, soy sauce, and some form of hot sauce on hand as well. Number nine are gonna be your seasonings that are called for in a lot of recipes. I have a lot more seasonings than what I'm gonna list here, but these are probably the most commonly used ones. I always have garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, cumin, paprika, red pepper flakes, and some Italian seasonings like basil and oregano. And then obviously you always keep salt and pepper. And lastly for your pantry are gonna be your baking goods, so this is number 10. I always have all-purpose flour, self-rising cornmeal, baking soda, baking powder, sugar, brown sugar, vanilla extract, and then I'm gonna throw this one in here even though it could have gone with the oils, and that's Crisco. I'm only putting Crisco in with the baking goods just because I always use it when I'm making my cornbread, but either way, Crisco vegetable shortening is a really good thing to have in your pantry as well. That's my top 10 for my pantry. I know everyone's is a little bit different depending on how you cook and what you cook. So if there's something that is a staple in your pantry that I didn't mention, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'm sure we can start a great conversation down there and people can get more ideas. My next list of 10 is gonna be for the fridge, the freezer, and fresh items. We're gonna start in the fridge with eggs. Eggs is so important to have on hand, not only for like breakfast items or hard boiled eggs, but they go in so many recipes. So I usually buy 18 at a time. And if you don't like to keep your eggs in the carton that they came in, if you have one of these acrylic organizers for eggs, I just write the expiration date of my eggs on the front with a dry erase marker. Number two in the fridge is gonna be milk. And not just your plain milk, but I like to also keep half and half, heavy cream and even buttermilk on hand. Number three is your butter, both salted and unsalted. And I really love buying mine in the half sticks because it's very rare that I have to use an entire stick of butter for something. So look for these next time you're shopping. Number four in the fridge is sour cream and or Greek yogurt. I know a lot of people substitute Greek yogurt for sour cream, but those go in so many recipes and they're such a great topping for foods as well. Number five for the fridge are your cheeses. I like to keep sliced cheese on hand for sandwiches, but I also like to keep at least one bag of shredded cheese. 
it varies from week to week which type of shredded cheese that I get. And then I also like to have a block of cheese or two on hand as well to be freshly grated. Number six is not something that I absolutely always have on hand because they can go bad if you're not gonna be using them. But something I do like to keep in my fridge are fresh herbs. I like to keep thyme, rosemary, parsley, cilantro, all of those tend to go in some sort of dish that I'm making throughout the week. So like I mentioned, I don't always have them, but if you look at my fridge, 85% of the time, at least one of those are in there. Number seven are gonna be your fresh items, some of which go in the fridge, some don't, but I keep most of these on hand at all times. Fresh garlic. When you're in a pinch, it's really nice to have the minced garlic in your fridge as well, like if you're in a, a big hurry, but I honestly like the taste of fresh garlic so much better. Onions, I keep yellow onions and usually at least one red onion on hand. Tomatoes, I love tomatoes for sandwiches and then obviously they go in a lot of recipes as well. Some sort of leafy green, so your lettuces, your spinach, your kale, those are great to have on hand as well. Going back to onions, green onions is another one I really love to have on hand. Lemons and limes, mostly lemons. There's a lot of different recipes that call for lemon juice or the zest of a lemon, and I just prefer fresh squeezed lemon juice as, a, as opposed to the little lemon juice things that you can buy. I buy those and have them on hand every now and then, but honestly, fresh lemon juice is the way to go. And potatoes, whether it be the red potatoes or russet potatoes, those are always nice to have for a side dish. Number eight is gonna be plenty of different meats for you to choose from. Now, if you're gonna be cooking it that week, obviously you can buy it fresh and just keep it in the fridge, but it's really nice to have some frozen meats in your freezer as well for on those nights that you really don't know what you're gonna cook. You can always thaw out some meat during the day and just figure it out when you get home. Number eight is gonna be frozen vegetables. I almost always have frozen corn, frozen green beans, frozen broccoli on hand just because it's nice, especially, especially if you buy it in the steamable bag. That is a great side dish for any dinner. In our house, number nine is a must have, and that is frozen chicken nuggets, frozen french fries, and frozen pizza. We don't eat them very often, but I keep them in the fridge just so if I don't feel like cooking that night, it's something that we can just throw in the oven or throw in the air fryer. That's really easy, really quick, and we know we're gonna love it. And there you have it. That's my list of 20 things or 20 categories of things that I almost always have in my pantry or my fridge or my freezer. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if there are some items that I didn't mention that you always have on hand, leave that in the comments below. Let's go check out the comments and learn from each other. And if you aren't already subscribed, consider subscribing. It's free to do so. And that just lets YouTube know that you're interested in my content. And then if you do hit that subscribe button, there's a little icon right next to it that looks like a little bell. If you click that, YouTube will let you know anytime I upload a video. I'm almost always in my kitchen and my most popular videos that everyone seems to love are my what's for dinner videos where I share three easy delicious meals. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button if you've already done that. And I'm gonna see you next time. Bye y'all.